What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 55th Jailbreak Update episode and today we have some very important and exciting news to talk about. Now if you missed my last Jailbreak Update episode, episode 54, or my live stream from this weekend on Saturday, make sure you go back and watch both of those videos or at least some of the live stream before watching this video. I will have those linked in the cards right now and also down in the description below. So anyways, in this video we're going to be talking of course all about the iOS 11.3.1 Jailbreak, when the exploit's going to be released and if you should update now or not. So anyways, as you guys should know if you've been watching my jailbreak update videos is that Ian Beer's kernel exploit is basically all we need at this point to get Electra up and running and working on iOS 11.3.1. But some of you guys may have been unaware that Ian Beer is actually going to be releasing two exploits for iOS 11.3.1. So one of these exploits requires entitlement, which means that you basically need a paid developer account to run and the other does not. Now, obviously the exploit we're waiting on is the one that does not need entitlement. And as you see on the screen, of course, this tweet does confirm that we do not need entitlement for one of the exploits that Ian Beer will be releasing. So now when can we expect this iOS 11.3.1 kernel exploit that does not require entitlement and it appears that we now actually have a day instead of just saying soon or you know something like that and that we don't have an ETA we actually do have an ETA for this exploit and it's tomorrow so you can see right here that this comes from Seguza who is a trusted member of the community he's been talking with Ian Beer and he said that tomorrow Tuesday June 5th is when Ian Beer plans on releasing the kernel exploit that we've all been waiting on so yes we can't expect the exploit to get released tomorrow and as far as a full-fledged jailbreak that should be coming soon after now of course we don't have an ETA for that it could be hours after the exploit gets released it could be days it could be weeks now I don't see this taking months because it is a very easy uh, process to you know update Electra to get to 11.3.1 I shouldn't say easy but it's easy for you know Coolstar and it's a lot easier than the 11.1.2 jailbreak was so with that being said I cannot see it taking very long before we have a full-fledged jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1 but of course I'm not gonna be giving any kind of ETA or anything like that but in my opinion it will only take days or weeks I don't think it will be taking months so yes it's definitely an appropriate time to start getting hyped and getting excited about the jailbreak but I do want to make sure you guys are in the position you need to be in right now and I want to make sure you're in that position before iOS 11.3.1 stops being signed. So if you are currently on any version of iOS 11.2, like iOS 11.2, 11.2.5, 11.2.6, .2 any version of 11.2, you should update to iOS 11.3.1 right now as you're watching this video update your device right now before it stops being signed also make sure you guys save your shsh2 blobs no matter what firmware you are on now if you're on ios 11.3 or 11.4 or 11.4.1 you need to update or downgrade to 11.3.1 right now now if you have an iphone 10 here's where things get a little bit tricky and you're going to kind of have to make up your own decision for this now if you are not jailbroken on your iphone 10 it's an easy decision to go ahead and update or downgrade to 11.3.1 right now but if you are jailbroken on your iphone 10 and you're happy with the jailbreak and it's not unstable well, it's not buggy or anything and it's just treating you flawlessly it's a great jailbreak then i would stay put right where you're at but just know that if you plan to update to 11.3.1 using your blobs face id will be broken and you will not be able to use face id which is a massive massive con to doing so so once again just to be clear if you are staying on ios 11.1.2 on your iphone 10 and you plan to update later once ios 11.3.1 stops getting signed with feature restore using your blobs just know that face id will be broken so for that reason alone and the fact that the ios 11.1.2 jailbreak was not very stable for me on my iPhone 10. I went ahead and updated from iOS 11.1.2 to 11.3.1. So once again, that's a decision you're going to have to make on your own, but I personally went ahead and updated to 11.3.1. I think it's going to be a more stable jailbreak and I won't have to worry about breaking Face ID if I want to update later on. Now, as far as the actual jailbreak goes, Coolstar and others will have to be doing the testing on multiple devices. Coolstar actually just got two new devices, an iPhone 10 and an iPad Pro, so he will be doing testing with Electra on 11.3.1 on those devices, among others. And of course, they'll have to do all that testing in the background before releasing anything to the public, which is the reason I don't think that the jailbreak is going to get released the same day, but it could be released within days or a couple weeks afterwards. And as for the signing of iOS 11.3.1, it could actually stop being signed today on Monday, June 4th. And that's a big reason I'm making this video as well. I just want to get this information out to you as soon as possible and before the signing window closes for 11.3.1. Now, of course, Apple never discloses when the signing window will close, and it's pretty much different for every single version. But according to my chart here, you can see that it can last anywhere from 7 to 50 days. But of course, most of the time it's between 7 and 14 or 7 and 21 days so yeah if you're planning on updating to ios 11.3.1 do so immediately but anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video i just want to get this video out as quick as possible to you guys i want to make this video as quick as possible and get it out as quick as possible before ios 11.3.1 stops being signed now of course i will be making another video once the exploit does get released and more information gets publicized about the actual jailbreak and the exploit and once it gets tested and things like that so definitely subscribe if you're not already and stay tuned for that video and of course the jailbreak in the near future now before i sign off i did just want to mention that I will be live streaming WWDC 2018 here on the channel and I will be reacting to everything that 
Apple unveils. So be sure to stop by and say hey if you have the time. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're looking forward to this iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.